Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, February 21st. It's the last week after the Epiphany and the scripture for this service. Psalms 30 and 32, and Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 17 to 26. Please join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honors shall we rear? Almighty Maker, to Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up. Psalms 30 and 32, and please recite them together with me. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up, and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Most High, my God, I cried to you, and you have healed me. My God, you have brought me up from the grave. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down into the pit. Sing to the Most High, O you saints, and give thanks for God's holiness. For God's anger lasts but a moment. God's favor is for a lifetime. Sorrow may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. God, by your favor, you have made me strong as a mountain. And then you hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried to you, O God, and to you I made my prayer. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? My God, hear me and have mercy upon me. My God, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Therefore, I sing praise to your glory, and I am not silent, my Most High God. I thank you forever. Blessed are they whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered, Blessed are they in whom the Most High imputes no guilt, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones withered away, through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, and my mouth is turned dry like the summer drought. I acknowledged my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to you, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. The faithful shall pray for this in time of distress, in the time of flood. The great waters shall not come near them. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will teach you the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not as the horse or mule which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, lest they come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but many mercies shall surround them that trust in God. Be glad in our God and rejoice, all you righteous, and shout for joy, all you that are upright of heart. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up. A lesson from Deuteronomy chapter 7, beginning at verse 17. 
If you say to yourself, These nations are more numerous than I, how can I dispossess them? Do not be afraid of them. Just remember that the Most High your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt. The great trials that your eyes saw, the signs and wonders, the mighty hand and the outstretched arm by which the Most High your God brought you out. The Most High your God will do the same to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. Moreover, the Most High your God will send the pestilence against them until even the survivors and the fugitives are destroyed. Have no dread for of them, for the Most High your God, who is present with you, is a great and an awesome God. The Most High your God will clear away these nations before you, little by little. You will not be able to make a quick end of them. Otherwise, the wild animals would become too numerous for you. But the Most High your God will give them over to you and throw them into a great panic until they are destroyed. He will hand their kings over to you, and you shall blot out their name from under heaven. No one will be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. The images of their gods you shall burn with fire. Do not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, and take it for yourself, because you could be ensnared by it. For it is abhorrent to the Most High your God. Do not bring an abhorrent thing into your house, or you will be set apart for destruction like it. You must utterly detest and abhor it, for it is set apart for destruction. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. We pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us our sins and offenses, and guide us with your eye, and teach us the way that we should go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. 
and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.